Want to know what I do? Well, I don't build robots. Maybe one day I might go into that field, join up with Elon. <laughs> I'm what you would call a QA, a QA tester, to be precise. My role is to ensure that the quality of a product meets the requirements, either from the clients or from the customers. My journey, I must say, has been quite interesting. Over the course of time, I've been able to apply my knowledge and test different systems, different applications, from finance industry to radio. It's been a fun journey, and the journey continues to be fun, that's for sure. But at the same time, I thought to myself, I'm sure there are individuals out there who may want the opportunity to be able to interact with different systems and applications, Instagram, Snapchat, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, you name it, all their favorite systems, but are unable to, simply due to lack of knowledge or lack of guidance. All right, so let me give you a scenario. Let's say we're looking at your favorite app. We'll use Instagram for the sake of it, okay? We all love Instagram, right? I know I do. So you're required to test, you know, the, the login functionality. So in other words, you need to test to make sure that the the, the page that has the login um, fields, for example, for the username, for example, your name, let's just say, and your password works properly. But imagine you need to do this a thousand times or a hundred times. So the process of you doing it manually is when you manually log onto your laptop, you go to Chrome browser, you insert, for example, your username, ABC, for example, and then you put your password and then you click on login. So that's a manual process, right? Cool, that's fine. So there are different ways of actually testing this, isn't it? That's a positive test. You know, you put your correct username, you put your correct password, you've clicked on login and, you know, hopefully it logs in successfully. But imagine, obviously, you have to test this in different ways whereby you want to use numbers for your username. You know, instead of using letters like, you know, ABC, you would use one, two, three. But bearing in mind, we do not want the field to be able to have numbers, for example. So imagine all the different variations of what you could input in the username. You could put symbols, you can, you know, in emojis, just as a way of testing or breaking the system to make sure that it passes that requirement, which is I only want the username to be able to have letters. For example, obviously we both know it can have letters and you know numbers but imagine having to do that a lot of times 100 times 200 times all right if you like doing things manually that's fine that's what we'd call a manual tester for example you know you're manually checking that the different areas of the system's working but imagine you could write a code you could write a a, a program that would check this for you at the click of a button once you've written the code all you need to do is literally click for it to run, click it to run, and it would test these different areas for you rather than you doing it manually. That world is automation testing. There are actually more sides to this. So far, we've discussed manual testing and automation testing. There is still API testing and CI, continuous integration. In other words, means being able to run systems and applications automatically in a sense. We'll go in details further down the line. But that is the purpose of this channel. A platform, a hub for you and everyone to be able to ask questions, to gain insight, to gain knowledge, all as a means of being able to guide you into the world of testing. Join us.